Hi, it's Monello. I've been tagged and hustled by some Dutch blonde bird to declare five facts about myself. Well, I've gone and done six. One's a total lie. I mentioned this to Twirly and she said that they all have to be the truth. The naked truth. So, here we go then. Fact number one. I actually own quite a few guitars. But the one that I always play is the Gibson. I can't remember the last time I played any of the others, quite frankly. This is my baby, my Gibson. 1964 Gibson Acoustic. Absolutely stunning. The action is incredible. Sound is wonderful. I just love it. I actually got it off a mate of mine. Uh, he went to America to live and he left it behind for his, uh, for his uh, girlfriend to sell when he settled down over there. The idea was that she would then sell the guitar, use the money to bring herself and her son out, and she'd fly out to join him. He settled down over there. He was there for about, ooh, 24 hours before he picked up with some other woman. She was furious. She sold it to me for 120 quid. <laughs> oh, never seen him since. If you're there, Ricky, hi, mate. Uh, my daughter, <laughs> when she was younger. I must admit, I did tell her that in case of a fire in the house, what you have to do is you stand by Daddy's guitar when she was a little girl. Stand by Daddy's guitar if there's a fire. And what Daddy will do, Daddy will come and rescue the guitar and you can follow Daddy out of the house to safety. She was quite okay with that until she grew up. And she got so pissed at me when she discovered what I told her. <laughs> oh, no sense of humour, some people. Those of you stupid enough to watch my videos and channel may know that I actually have a yacht and enjoy sailing. Love the sea. Great place to go. Get away from the world. Play me guitar out there. Got a special boat guitar. What you don't know is that I'm also an observer for the Cross Channel Swimmers Association. What that means is three months of the year, on the neat tides, I cross the English Channel with the swimmers. And it's my role to ensure that the swimmers follow the rules and that I'm the one who verifies that they've made a correct swim. Quite incredible watching people stroking 70, 70 strokes a minute, hour after hour after hour. While I sit on deck, sipping my cold drinks in the shade. It's a dirty job, but someone's got to do it. Did you know that more people have climbed Mount Everest than have swum the English Channel? And I meet a lot of really interesting people, really wonderful people who actually swim the Channel. Loads and loads of people. Some of them succeed, a lot of them don't. But the one thing they've all got in common, they're fucking nuts. Fact three. Music. And as my musical friends keep telling me, I'm not a musician. I know nothing about music. I'm tone deaf, I can't count to four, and I can't really tell a flat from a bungalow. I actually only picked up the guitar when I was in my late twenties, and that was because I used to work in the music industry. So, here we go. I worked in the music industry for about ten years. I did it all, apart from playing, because I couldn't play then. I actually learned to play because I was spending night after night sitting in hotel rooms with musicians. So I did it all. Roadie, sound engineer, turn manager, band manager. Did quite well. See, got some of these. I'll never get one for performing. Still, money's all gone, so calm down, girls. I either pissed it up against the wall or stuck it up my nose, and what's, what was left, one of my three wives relieved me of. So, that was fact three. Fact four. I'm a widower. Pay attention again now, girls. My wife, Kamari, died when our daughter was 18 months old, and now Kamari's 18 years old and off to university this year. Going to study clinical psychology. So I finally get what I always wanted in life. My daughter with a very own prescription pad. <sighs> I'm very proud of my daughter. I can say that here now because she tells me she doesn't watch my videos. So, no embarrassment. I know you watch, Beanie. Fact five. I'm a bloody good cook. And I like good food and good wine. Look at that. 25 year old Ryoka. Uh, I've always enjoyed eating and drinking 
and I would prefer to prepare my own food. I've never understood the idea that just because a woman has a pair of mammary glands, she should be the one who cooks in a relationship. Most of the women I've been with who have stunning tics can't boil water. So, I like to cook my own food. I always have. All my relationships, I do the cooking. It's as simple as that. I lived in Italy for years. I love to cook. I can cook anything. And I love to eat. God, I love to eat. Ah, and drink. Cheers. And finally, number six, I do one impersonation. Only one. Not a very good one, but it's the only one you get. It's me doing a walnut. That's it. Okay, that's it then. Six tags, one of which is probably a lie. <laughs> Just to annoy some people. Uh, now I suppose I have to tag five people who I'm told I have to. So the people I'm going to tag are Dixie Dart. Billy, you're going to have to film yourself, mate. 4846 Stephen. Only because I'm trying to get some clue as to why he's so bloody good. Go Cat Dave, because he's a laugh and I really want to see what he's got to say for himself. Ed Morrison in Australia. Love the guy. He's got to come up with something. And of course, Wenato. I love Wenato. He is. I hate karaoke singers, but Wenato is different. Wenato is the boy. And I'm damn certain if he has to do five facts, he'll do them in song. So thank you very much. And God bless you.